guys, Shade is here and welcome back again to my YouTube channel. So it's been a while since the last time I shared also you guys, but I've been saving a lot this past few months and finally I already had this for more than a week. I already experienced it and now I am ready to share it to you guys. So without further ado, this is my review, we unboxing and personal experience of the House of Marley's Exodus ANC an over-ear wireless Bluetooth headphone. So with the brand House of Marley, there are two different items that lands in the name Exodus. The one that has ANC and the one that doesn't have. So parang same lang silang headphones. They both have 50mm driver, Bluetooth for connectivity, USB Type-C, and the material is wood, stainless steel, and leather. So ano ba yung difference niya? As I mentioned, meron siyang active noise cancellation or also known as ANC. Then, meron siyang feature na binibigay ni ANC which is your ambient noise. What is used is that pwede mo marinig nyo sa environment nyo without you taking off your headphones. It will be using the microphones, the built-in microphones to amplify the audio or the environment through the headphone. Next is the physical appearance. This only comes with black version while the other one only goes with brown. Lastly, better battery life. It has 1000mAh battery compared to the 500mAh battery. If you're going to compare each with the hours, this has 80 hours of usage while the other one only has 30 hours of usage. I choose this one because it's color black. It looks more professional. Second, it has a better battery life. Ang tagal ko siyang ginamit, almost one week na yata, pero hindi ko pa siya charge. Third, it has USB Type-C connection for the charging. And lastly, yung main selling point here is the active noise cancellation. So let's proceed with the unboxing. A bit disclaimer here, pangalawang best ko na siya na unbox. But tinalay ko siya ilagay sa box niya the way it used, used to be. And also, yung accessories na hindi ko pa siya nagagamit. So, we'll know later yung experience ko with the accessories that it comes with. So, yung style ng box na is may dalawang parts. Meron siyang sleeves, tapos yung mismo actual box na in brown. So, sa front, makikita niyo yung image ng headphones makukuha niyo sa inside. Brand name or yung name ng House of Marley. Name ng item. Short description about dun sa main feature na dinideliver niya, which is one, is yung FCA certificate siya. It is for the wood, which means that it is not hurting the environment when it harvests the wood. Active noise cancellation, as I mentioned earlier. The battery life for the 2880, which referring to the hours. With 8 hours for the active noise cancellation on, and 80 hours for the active noise cancellation off. Then, next here is our defoldable design, which is, as described, foldable yung mismo headphones niya, so mas madali siya itago. Sa side, makukita lang natin yung headphones from a different angle, and also description ng House of Marley Exodus ANC siya. The other side, some text. The purchase of this product will help plant one tree, so it is great since nandun yung motivation ng House of Marley to deliver a great experience with the headphones at the same time helping the environment. At the bottom, another image of the headphones. Some text here about House of Marley, just a description of the company. Then at the back, you will see the full specifications here. As I mentioned kanina, there's FSC certification. Then stainless steel, siya, aluminum yung body construction. Niya. It has the battery, active noise installation, onboard microphone, 50mm driver, comfortable memory phone. Since that over ear siya, kailangan comfortable yung mismong headphones sa ating tenga. Then quick charge, which is great kasi para mas mabilis natin at magagamit ka agad yung headphones. So kapag tinanggal natin tong sleeves sa kanyang body, Ayan lang itsura niya. Nothing much since naipakita natin kanina. Then, pag binuksan natin siya, pag ganito. 
Una natin makikita yung pouch niya. Which is great kasi usually sa mga House of Marley, yung mga pouch nila is in drawstring lang. This one is naka-zipper siya. Then may mga papel siya sa inside. These are mostly the warranty. Quick start guide which is also great to read kasi minsan kailangan mo yung controls niya. Malaman kung anong ginagawa per button or per long press ng button. And multi-language din siya. Sticker na House of Marley. Description about helping the environment to be sustainable and help the global warning spread the love. Hard. And mismo. So maganda siya. Soft new inside, but I don't think mahahagasgas naman sa sa mismo headphone. I do recommend use a different pouch for this one since medyo mahirap siya ilagay inside based on my experience. Then here is what's inside. We got micro USB. I know, Type-C connection USB. Braided siya. From what I know, recycled uh, cotton cloth siya at the same time, recycled silicon. So it is great. And also, yung mismong packaging niya is recycled paper. Nice. Right? Nice, di ba? Then, a 3.5mm headphone jack to 3.5mm headphone jack. With an inline microphone. Also, worth mentioning, maganda siya kasi 3.5 to 3.5mm headphone jack siya. So, ibig sabihin, mas madali mo siya ma-replace by a third-party item na mabibili mo anywhere on online platforms. And also, you can find a better one since that Pwede mong palitan to or pwede mong maghanap. Pwede kang maghanap na merong control siya. So for example, yung naka-iPhone ka or Android, merong mga earphones or merong mga cables na merong control for the volume up and volume down. Not just the pause and play here. Next is the headphones itself. Let's set this aside muna here. Silica gel and nothing more underneath the box. Let's set these things aside. So for the main attraction, the headphones itself. So this is how it looks like. So this one is wood. Wood siya. Tapos nandito yung mga buttons na. Power button, volume up, volume down, and yung pause play. Sa ilalim is yung 3.5mm headphone jack. Nandito din yung ANC toggle niya. So kapag tinagal mo siya, i-ilo siya. And mag activate yung active noise installation. The USB Type-C connection for the charging. And yung sinasabi ko kanina monitoring yung audio ambient na feature niya. So, ang maganda sa kanya is maganda yung build niya. Although na-recycled yung ibang materials. Metal. It has a nice feel kapag ina adjust mo yung headband. And also meron siyang brand na Marley here. Which is sobrang ganda ng pagkakagawa, right? Ganda, di ba? I'm going to turn it on. Nandito yung power indicator niya. And yung battery sinasabi niya dito. So, until now, we're pa akong 2 bars ng battery.
and also the memory foam nya is really good So, kapag suot-suot mo siya, looks like this. I mean, yes, I know, malaki siya dahil 15mm driver, but it still looks nice on me. Kasi, still, hindi siya yung sobrang bulky, like, unlike doon sa iba na sobrang plastic yung dating. This one looks premium and looks really professional then at the same time. So with terms of the audio quality, superb. As in, superb. With the bass, with the clarity. I mean, super bass na. If you're looking for a headphones that has super bass, that is really, really good and can be enhanced in the future since you have the equalizer, this is a great choice. This is a great value for money. Kasi sobrang lakas ng bass niya. However, the clarity nga lang is medyo nawawala minsan-minsan. There are some instruments na mawawala dito, pero with the, with the vocal, it will stay. So if I'm going to demonstrate it to you guys, I'm not sure if I'm really able to demonstrate it since baka mamaya is magkaroon ako ng copyright. But I'm going to connect this on my phone. It's just long press here. Then... Meron kayong marininig na audio sa kanya, indicating that it's already turned on. Then, if I'm going to connect it with my phone, just go to the Bluetooth, look for the word Exodus ANC. Then, just connect. you will hear a small beep on the headphone indicating that it is already connected. Almost sound isolated siya. Sample ako. So yung headphone nandito while yung microphone ko is nandito lang. So, kung isipin, almost wala kayong marinig since audio isolating siya. But, if I'm going to put it around my neck, you will really hear that it is really loud. But, if I'm going to put it on my head, sa earphones ko, hindi masyado. So with the audio experience, it is really good, especially for the bass. Ako, I'm a type of person na super gusto ko ng bass na headphones with the big driver. However, I can find, as I mentioned, I can find na headphones na sobra comfortable other than this one. And with the clarity, medyo downside, bumababa kasi nawawala minsan, but still okay. You can just adjust the, the equalizer for your liking since... Aho, with the bass niya, with the clarity, with the vocal, it's just okay, it's just superb. I am really okay with this. Then, if you're going to toggle your active noise sensation niya, so you mentioned magkakaroon siya ng kulay green, it feels like yung mismo bass niya is mas magbo-boost, then mas makikita mo yung mismo clarity and yung mismo vocals na hinahanap mo from the original. I think it's like a feature na good sa kanya. Kasi nga, mas mahahanap mo kung ano yung gusto mong hanapin for the music. Especially for the minor na, na instrument na hindi mo akalain na nandoon. Mahikit na mo kapag nag-ANC ka. 
But if you're going to compare it with the Bose na comfort quiet na iba, I think that's a great competition between this and that. But if you're going to compare talaga, sobrang layo nun compared dito kasi yun talaga is sobrang clarity, sobrang hi-fi, high definition yung mismo audio compared to this one. So if you're going to charge this naman, so as I mentioned, at the bottom is the USB Type-C port. If you're going to charge this, magkakaroon siya ng light indicator here, indicating na nag-charge siya. Let me show you guys. So I'm using the USB Type-C that is included on the charger. So ganito siya hahaba. It is really long guys. Ayoko lang dito kasi kapag sinasaksa ko siya, hindi siya yung sobrang pasok lahat. Like, meron siyang exposed na metal here. But hindi naman siya ganun kalaking uh, issue. But I still feel like parang hindi ko siya naisaksak na maayos. Pero still nakasaksak pala siya. So let me just plug this other end on the charger itself. So, ayan, nakasaksak na siya. At makikita nyo, kulay pula yung ilaw indicating na charging siya. Then, with regards to the 3.5mm headphone jack or the AUX cable, it is really great na L-type yung dito sa dulo niya. At least, mas comfortable siya when you are using. However, ang issue ko lang dito is that kung gagamitin mo siya, Tapos yung ANC mo is naiwanan mo na ka-on. Kapag tinanggal mo siya, naka-on pa rin yung ANC mo. So at least you are you will be able to use the active noise cancellation even though na naka-headphones ka. So i-plug mo lang siya, automatic siya magkakaroon ng, I mean, automatic siya mag-switch to a to the line audio. So let me try this na kasi hindi ko pa talaga siya na-try. First time ko itatry ito kasi ayoko talaga masyadong gamitin yung mga items from the box. As long as wear na ako from my personal items, I will be using that one. But yeah, let me try this. And also, I will be back para lang ma-test yung mismong microphone quality niya. Since, as I mentioned, meron niya siyang built-in microphone in the headset itself. However, kung mapapansin nyo, meron siyang microphone for the inline. So, there. I'm going to test this then para may pakita ko sa inyo kung ano audio quality niya. Be right back. As usual for the audio recording department of these headphones, I tried both Bluetooth and Ward. However, Bluetooth doesn't really give you that satisfying audio if you are going to use it for the microphone or the calling. Hindi siya ganun kaganda. Not bad, I mean. Pero, kung masasabi mo, parang pwede-pwede na kung kailangan mong kausapin yung isang tao na tumawag sa right away to your headphones, pwede na. Pero if you are on a crowded environment, you will hear everyone, I mean the other person, the person in the other life will hear everything that is around you. Hindi siya ganong kalahas, medyo parang iisipin, parang kulog yung audio. However, if you are going to use the wired version, I mean the wired microphone that comes with this, good siya. I mean, I would compare it with my Sennheiser's Momentum 2 on ear wired. It is really good if you're going to use it for your meetings, for your calls. It is really good. The other person in the other line will really hear you clearly. Mahakasagap siya na environment noise, but still, pede siya, maintindihan niya and everything. Good for this one. Always use this one if you're going to go for a call. But I won't really advise the microphones from this. I mean, I'd try this, and this is better. This is not bad, but still depends on you on how you're going to use this. This is my personal opinion. I would still use this for the microphones, for the callings. If I'm on the go, 
not bad. This is sulit actually for the microphones then. This is a testing of audio recording from the inline microphone of House of Marlis Exodus ANC. This is a testing of audio recording from the built-in microphone of House of Marlis Exodus ANC. Final assumption. For the House of Marley Exodus ANC, I'll give it a two thumbs up kasi sobrang ganda niya for the audio. I mean, it is enough or more than enough for my liking. Just really satisfies me. The audio recording is not really that good, but if you're going to go for the wired version, it is really best. Kasi if you're using it for, for gaming, for calls, good siya but if you're going to use it for your uh for as the bluetooth minsan may latency siya minsan yung audio is nakakasagat no marami no maraming noises also for the active noise cessation it does the job but not really that quiet as the Bose one or the Sony's one but this is really good compared to those items kasi sobrang mahal noon compared to this one I mean, it works. Why not, diba? This is really a good headphones. It is classy and also playful. It is real. It lo It does look professional, and it is very sturdy. So ganda niya. At the same time, your foldable design niya is really portable. For for me, it is a really great investment for this one. So so that concludes my video. Let me know your thoughts about these headphones and. Comment down below if you got any comments about these headphones. I'll try to uh, share it to you guys. And yeah, thank you so much. Goodbye.